bring them there out. you go that's our, our first welding job here in the new lab well at 55 this thing's worthless 90 is blowing holes through this Swiss <laughs> cheese pipe are you having issues Joe well we've you just, got you got I gotta find the right amp setting that's all okay I'm gonna get out of here you're, you're doing bad things oh hey I can look at it through the camera and it's safe <laughs> sort of no, the screen of the camera is not going to blind me. Right. I might kill the camera shooting an arc flash, but... See, that's what the world needs. Yeah. Welding goggles that utilize a little camera and an LCD screen. They have something like that. Oh, well, that, that was almost welding. You might have to clean it soon. Or is it just are, are you having problems, Joe? <laughs> <laughs> My kingdom for MIG welding. This thing is yeah, anybody out there who wants to donate an old welder, we could really use one because the only welder we have in the entire shop is this little toy. This, this is our welder right now because we don't have a real one yet. It's a reconditioned... Old yeah, it's a little 110. Hey, it's welder. bad enough it's reconditioned, but 110 welders can't actually weld to begin with. <laughs> you say that, but I've welded with a lot of power supplies. I got screwdrivers that show for it. You see the little divot we just created yep, on the highest yep. setting? Now I can't even establish a stinking arc with this thing. Try a new stick, maybe. Give me a new stick. Sitting over there. Please? There. Thank you. That way I think. Sometimes, sometimes when I was welding with stick welding, I'd just say, you know, screw it and get a new stick, and then, you know, just need to start. Okay, let's try. That's better. Ooh, sparkles, yay, sparkles! Ah, you just melting pipe. To leave a flux hole on. Huh? Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Okay. It ain't got to be pretty. Right. Who's going to look at it? The raccoons he runs over? Hello. They're supposed to grab the, those uh, rods because they're hot. <laughs> Maybe we can get the uh, rotary gap down here and have better luck with welding. That might I'll do it. Alright Joe, so okay. the uh, the welding kind of forked. <laughs> well, I gave up on that piece of crap welder. Alright. What you have now is a sleeve. Here's the hole. Good picture of the big old hole. It's a big hole. Big old hole. The welds, of course, you see these bird turds. They're not doing anything. Okay. The welder's pretty pathetic. What we're going to do is sleeve this. I need you to gently pry those two apart, or slide that in. There you go. Okay. And now take wrap that chain around there as central as possible. Well, I guess we'll start at one side. Yeah. You say there's no real way to get it in centrally. Yeah. Tight to the next notch. Let's get some of that good wire. I'm glad he knows what the hell he's doing. It's Joe. The man walks on water. <laughs> yeah. You guys got confidence in me. Sometimes if you give him like two days to build, actually probably only would take him like an hour to build some sort of flipper. Oh yeah. Thing that along. You, you, you give Joe, you, dude. Joe's like to Chuck Norris to fix it. Okay. You give Joe a Dixie cup and a paper cup, and he can route gigabit Ethernet traffic. <laughs> uh, With a piece of string, he can do fiber as well. But it's got to be wet. He's got to spit on it. Wet, yeah, yeah, wet string. <clears throat> oh yeah, that's that's not jank at all. That's... Hey man, you're you the won't one see wants... it. Yeah, the it's only gonna people, spark the only... every time I hit a bump. The only thing that'll see it is you know the raccoons run over and the small children you hit. <clears throat> 
Okay, move your clamp over to the other side. Supposed to be holding tools and doing this at the same time. And we let you know that we're using old suspension wire from the ceiling at Geek Group. So this is complete reuse. Because Joe's a nerd. Oh, other side of this wrench. Oh, I there see. You go. There we go. And take your time on cranking it down. It has to sleeve on itself. Do it another little crank. There you go. Kind of wiggle it. Make that thing squeeze in. Okay. Snap it in there. Yeah, cool. As we finish this, this muffle falls off. <laughs> <laughs> that would be apropos. Well, the wire is certainly strong enough. It's stronger than the exhaust. It's bigger than the axle. Some of us don't need to have don't need to own a vehicle big enough to compensate. So I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. Joe owns like an S10 though, or a Ranger. Yeah, I drive an S10. I'm the one with the F1. F150 full size. Bigger. Not that I'm compensating for anything. It's your story. You tell it any way you want. Okay. Uh, how can I not buy a truck for a dollar? In the uh, toolbox, there's a bigger pair of vice grips I threw. Oh, they're on the floor. Well, just throw your tools yep, I'm done with that one. Thank you, sir. I'll trade you. I wish this lift just went a little couple more inches on here. We can take it up a bit. Just spread your legs apart. I don't know. Um, we can just snap it off and that'll give it the final there trimmed that's kind of cool of course now what are we going to do with the rattling just unbolt that bracket oh right this there. will wire up on there too we got the hole patched can you hold this chain back out of my wood please we've got enough wire to strap that bracket down This is tough wire. They don't make them like they used to. <clears throat> Been holding up a drop ceiling for 50 years, I think. Yeah. <sighs> Trim that, okay. Take the stick right out of there. Get a close up of your holy patch. That's quality work there. Strap this bracket down. You know, if you'd ask me, I got some of those, you know, pipe clamps that you just tighten with the phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're driving me. Hey. Tells me. You didn't ask. But well, they're probably Chinese junk that doesn't. Probably they would have rusted through within the first, you know, rainstorm and then, you know, we would have had. They don't even worm clamp. Gonna make a hole here. Use existing rust hole. Your advantage. Right. Gotta do that in Michigan first. We got the dikes yet? I think they're in my pocket. Yep. Okay. He's got the same kind of dikes I got. We like dikes. Yeah, I know. Uh, voice grips, stone, and mm -hmm. no other ones. And if we take a hammer and kind of tap this in, you get a little ball peen. Yeah, I got a little ball peen. We can tap that so it's tighter. All right. Are we done with it's the, right uh, on. We are done with that, yes, sir. A little ball peen will finish it nicely.
done. So what do you think of that, Joe? <laughs> That'll outlast, outlast the exhaust. This is a failure, though. That's going to pop loose soon. <sighs> Another piece of that wire, we can do the same. Uh, we'll leave it for now. We can do a little twisty twist. We'll, we'll fix it when it breaks. A little figure eight. We'll, we'll fix it when it breaks. <laughs> Besides, we get another video out of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh gosh, let me see that. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> what the hell are you gonna do with that? That's a, it's a, it's for jewelry. That's that's. Oh, that's funny. There, all better. Thank you, Joe. You are welcome. <laughs> that is the great and powerful Joe Simon and Andrew Batman Harwood. You guys have fun. That's today's Captain's Blog. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> this actually seemed easier than welding. <laughs>